Are you that louder? With who? Are you a little boxing Good luck, man. BoxingTalk.com here with undefeated super middleweight champion Mikel Kessler. Huge fight coming up. HBO World Championship Boxing November 3rd. Can you give us some thoughts on November 3rd and tell us what we could expect to see from you? We're going to see uh, a great fighter from Denmark and a half, half, half English fighter, half Danish fighter. Um, I'm going to put up a great fight against Joe. Uh, I think he's going to be a surprise. I don't think he considered me as anything. Yeah, I heard he told, told some reporter, but uh, uh, but you're gonna see a great, great fight. Um, I'm gonna be 200 percent ready for this one. So uh, watch on the 3rd November. What's gonna be the difference in this fight that leads to a Mikel Kessler victory? I'm younger, I'm faster, I'm stronger, and I uh, have my physical, mentally uh, health. Uh, what can you say? Uh, the average with me. And um, you know, feel good, no injury. Uh, that's why I'm gonna win this fight. How do you feel about Kalzaki as a fighter? How do you view him as a fighter? Great, great fighter. Uh, it's a guy I just talked before. Great fighter. Um, throws a lot of combinations. He's an awkward fighter, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a big training plan uh, set up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna outsmart him. It's no secret that he has hand problems. Are you aware of that? And do you plan on forcing him to make a fight of it to see where his hands are going to be if he's capable of going 12 rounds? No, no, I'm not. I'm not considered about his hands. Uh, uh, I'm going to fight my my way of fighting. I'm, I'm not going to. You know, now he's going to hurt his hand, and then I could punch him after that. No, he's going to be surprised of uh, what I'm going to what I'm going to have in my hand back, or what you call it. What's your prediction for the fight other than victory? Do you see it going the distance? I don't know yet, uh, but I'm going to be ready for going 12 rounds. Of course, if, if you can do it before the 12th round, you have to do it. And uh, What does a victory over Kawasaki mean to you? Uh, that's a dream come true. So uh, just a dream come true that I'm going to fight him. So I'm, uh, I'm not going to miss my chance to win. Obviously, you're focused on solely Joe, but there's going to be talks if you're victorious in this fight about possibly Bernard Hopkins, possibly the winner of Jones in Trinidad. Other than Kalzaki, who out there do you want to fight the most? It's difficult to say. I only have one fight in my head now, and that's Joe. So I'm not thinking about uh, any, any other people. I appreciate your time, Mikel. Is there anything you'd like to say to the fans in closing? Watch me on the 3rd of November. I'm going to give you a great fight. I promise you. BoxingTalk.com here with undefeated super middleweight of the champion of the world, Joe Kalzaki. Huge fight coming up on November 3rd. Tell us about it. Well, you know, what can I say? You know, this is uh, a great fight, Michael Kessler. You know, um, combined something like 80-odd wins between us. And uh, this is what I'm on about this stage of my career. I've been champion nearly 10 years. All I'm after is the big fights and uh, the biggest fighters. And uh, this, is, this is this one of them. You know, so I'm so excited. It's hopefully going to be 50,000 plus spectators uh, there in, in Cardiff, you know, it's going to be live on HBO, live in the UK, live all around the world, so uh, I'm, what can I say, I said I'm really excited, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Clearly this is your biggest fight since Jeff Lacey, how do you compare Lacey and Kessler as fighters? Uh, well, I think uh, Kessler is a more difficult fight than Lacey, he's a better fighter, um, he obviously is taller, he's more of a boxer, you know, than, than Jeff, so, he's, you know, obviously I use my intelligence more in this fight and use my boxing skills more, you know, and, um, you know, it's, it's going to be good, but listen, until you get in the ring, you never know what's going to happen, all I know, I'm going to win the fight, and uh, I'm going to be prepared for anything, you know, so I'm going to be in a great, great shape, you know, hopefully in the same shape I was against Jeff Lacey, and if that's the case, you know, I believe in my, in my heart that nobody can beat me. What do you consider your biggest advantage going into this fight? Not my speed. You know, my speed, my experience, my speed, my, my southpaw, my heart, everything. You know, I, I, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the world champion and I'm going to prove it November the 3rd. Are there any of those advantages or all of the above that are going to be the difference in this fight that lead to your hand getting raised? I think so, yeah, I think so. Obviously, you, you've seen in the past, I've had some poor, poor performances, but the bad performances are all, always against opponents that I don't really get up for, you know. When I fight a dangerous opponent, and a very good fight, and usually the best of me. So I'm more relaxed fighting the top guys than fighting not so big guys, because I know in my mind I'm not really up for a fight. But this fight, believe me, I'm going to be trained uh, tremendously for. I'm going to spar, you know, um, you know personally, I've got Enzo Macronelli's uh, gym mate of mine, who's the best cruiserweight in the world. So I'm going to be sparring with him, he's tall, 
I've got some other tour guys at the gym, so I, I'm gonna, I want to be in a great shape, you know, this, this is a massive event, and I want to be at my best, you know, and the fight. There's been speculation that you have hand troubles, how are your hands, and are, you, are they a concern going into this fight? That's no secret, <laughs> you know, I've uh, always got hand troubles, you know, but no, at the moment, thank God, everything is good in my hands, you know, something about to deal with from a young age, but listen, you know, I'm, uh, I'm still a champion, and uh, I'll still fight, if i got one hand, two hands, I'm going to fight my heart out, like I said. Does Kessler go the distance? Yeah, but listen, at the end of the day, what I'm saying is I trade for 12 hour fights. I've got potential to knock anybody out, you know, but uh, I don't make predictions as far as I make a prediction is I'm going to win the fight. As we're going to, regards to uh, we're going to knock the guy out, you know, who knows how the fight's going to go. You know, but I'll, I'll always train for 12 hard rounds, and at the end of the day, I'll be, my, hand, my hand will be raised and I will be undisputed champion. Earlier, I overheard you describe this fight as something that's going to be all out action, unlike the Hopkins and Winky Wright fight. If, if that kind of fight should come to fruition, is there any way that the two of you can meet in the middle and go at it without it? With, with, and have the fight go 12 rounds? Yeah, well, you need, you need two to tango with that one, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, you need the two to tango, and whether Kessler wants to stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, he's more of a distance fighter, so I should imagine that you want to keep his range. So it'd be up to me to, uh, to fight my fight and get inside when I want to get inside and, and do what I need to do to knock him off his game plan. I appreciate your time, Joe. Look forward to speaking with you again before the 3rd of November. Can you give us some closing thoughts for the fans? Yeah, just, just as I say, the tune in November 3rd is going to be a tremendous fight. I'm going to fight my heart out like I always do. You know, I'm going to go in there 150% and I'm going to win and you're going to see a great fight.